So, um... <laughs> So, um, hey Rex, things I have progressed. I, I am officially at my new apartment as a single girl, <laughs> and I don't know how I'm feeling. And yesterday I saw this video of this girl, I guess it was either on like Shade Room or Hollywood Unlocked, one of them, where the girl did like day by day of no contact with her ex. Um, I have officially gone no contact because I have still have stuff over there that I need to move. But last night was my first night in my apartment all by myself. I feel very numb right now. I did a lot of drinking. I I um, <laughs> a lot of drinking. Um, I got to eat. Uh, it was cold and it was too cold for me to get up and change the thermostat. I don't feel great. But I don't feel horrible. Music licensing reimagined. I think I'll just check in every morning after I sleep and just tell you guys how I am. Right now, I am faking okay. I'm faking okay. My bed's not even here, but I've had this air mattress since forever. So I was able to spend my first night at my apartment um, and kind of come to terms with. Artlist I own. everything that is now so I will check back in because I really don't have much to do I need to unpack and my apartment looks like crap so um, I'll check back in tomorrow morning and this will be a fun return to music YouTube licensing video. reimagined yeah I should do a day by day of how the apartment looks so my room is still very much air mattress trying to figure out where crap goes closet things are still in bags living room I mean I just got to figure out where all this stuff goes progress that looks so empty it's embarrassing that it's empty but I decided to not be petty and just kind of take what I know I'm going to use and buy the rest, rebuy the rest. So, yay. Good morning. Um, it's day two. I am not at my apartment. I am at my ex's house because movers are coming to get like my bed and stuff and they're coming very early. So I just slept here to meet the movers. You know nothing happened if anything if anything it was like the first night of my cycle so I was just rolling around in pain um, I feel a little defeated today a little alone this morning I haven't even washed my face or anything but my hair is done now my nails are done now um and now i'm just doing the last minute things to the movers to get to my apartment so i'll show you how the apartment looks once the movers put things in which is not going to be much better but um yeah not feeling 100 at all but we're here. <sighs> okay, all of my stuff is here. This is what my house looks like. I basically told them to put it anywhere. <laughs> I was like, just put it, put it there. I will put it together. I'm very OCD about my stuff, so I would rather it just be here 
I and I put it together. They offered to put it together. Very professional guys, but um, it is like ten thirty in the morning. I am about a glass of wine in. I'm watching a snapped episode for a murder rest this week, and I am. Feeling hungry. Feeling hungry. That's that's how I feel. Artlist IO. Okay, y'all, it's Thursday and it is not the morning. It is very much like one, two o'clock. Um, I lost half of my day because last Music night I was going to get another imagine. load of stuff from my ex's house. And then we started drinking and I got drunk and I couldn't drive home. So I slept there. We didn't do anything except for go to sleep because I got drunk. You can't, you got to find the right because once I get drunk, I'm sleepy. I don't have like, I have like a second of maybe like, ooh, we might be freaky drunk. But like, if I take another sip, then I'm going out. So then I had to come here and do stuff with Taz. And today I'm feeling. Artlist IO. I don't know. I feel like I need a feeling chart so that I can actually pick a word. I don't really, my glasses are crooked, so I'm gonna take those off. Oh, don't fall. Um but today i don't really even know how i'm feeling i'm just trying to get things done my little niece i'm watching my niece tonight so she's music so I, and she's two so i need imagine. to at least make sure that the place is not hazardous but um you want to see what the apartment looks like so far we've been working okay let me show you the bed is up i do have another cover for my pillow it just is somewhere deep and i know i washed it so chill out extra blankets where I don't know where they're gonna be there. We've got kind of a living room. Those are my my books, more shoes. Honestly, I'm trying to find the word to, to describe how I feel and I think I'm still, I think I'm still just numb, honestly, to be completely honest with you. I'm still not there yet. Still trying to figure out Music license reimagined. <sighs> what am I doing? Is this crazy? Should I just I don't know. But yeah. We're out here in our apartment. It's Friday. I'm tired. I actually slept here. That's Rex you hear in the background. I feel exhausted. I did not sleep good at all. Actually, I was up late. I was up late working on the episode. I was also babysitting my niece who is sick. She got a little baby coughs. Rex, relax. She's actually really sick, got a little baby coughs. I got her down for bed at around 9.30. I heard her little coffee, her little baby coffee coughs. It was so sad, my little baby didn't feel good. And then she woke up around like midnight 30. And I was getting so tired. And when she woke up, baby, she was up. And I could tell she didn't feel good. She was starting to get warm. I was like, oh my gosh, baby, baby, you don't feel good. She was laying down, 
She asked me to read her book again. I started reading her her nighttime book again. She was not falling asleep. And I was like, mama needs a nap. TT is going down quick. And her mom was working late. She was supposed to spend the night, but her mom worked, didn't work far away. And I was like, listen, you get off of work at 2 in the morning. You might have to come get your baby because she is like awake and she don't feel good. Whew, so kind of lonely. This bed doesn't feel as comfortable as I remember it to be. I just got these new pillows. They're not that comfortable. Just kind of waking up by yourself for real, for real is lonely. I have my niece, so the apartment don't look no different. If anything, it look a little bit worse, so. <sighs> and it's Friday, so I have a whole weekend to be lonely. Uh, why can I just say numb? Hey y'all, it's Saturday and I feel so tired. I also feel very cold. Um, last night, one of my homegirls who like, this is my like ace, this is my ace boom boom, like my freshman year fucking roommate who like we don't talk all the time but she always is like telepathizing when Mara is going through some shit and she called me after I had had a couple drinks so I completely like crashed out on the phone talking about everything about, about the breakup and all of that and that sucked and then after I got off the phone with her I was like you know what I need some more wine so I walked down to the corner store to get some more wine and they had to lenty ice cream i was like absolutely i'm fucking already crashing out to lenty ice cream might you know do what i needed to do i go back i open up my glass of wine i mean my bottle of wine i oh my god i open up my bottle of wine i pour my bottle my glass of wine i try to open up that ice cream and i could not get it the fuck open Y'all, it was about to literally be my 13th reason. Like, I was about to, I was fully prepared to fully crash out behind this ice cream. I could not get it open. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is it. I'm, I, this is it. I'm a single bitch. I can't even be sad, right? Because I can't even open the freaking ice cream. I can't open the ice cream cream to eat my feelings so now you want me to feel them no 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 so i ended up getting it open i had to go and ask my downstairs neighbors if they could open it at like midnight and luckily they were outside like having a little bonfire so and they were like oh yeah no worries and i was just like please just open up the ice cream i just don't i don't want to talk just give me the ice cream thank you so much goodbye I'm sitting here like, what if I just like, what if I just like, what if I just like, ah! I put a bookshelf together at my place. So the place has a bookshelf now, but I am feeling like crashing the hell out. Okay, I am feeling like Yee! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> but I'm I'm headed to go do something fun today. I'm headed to go to Oktoberfest in Helen, Georgia. So super excited okay 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 y'all just have a good day i'm struggling
if you if you wanted the update, the update is I'm fucking struggling. Okay, goodbye. Well, honestly, today is Tuesday. I'm going to try to like quickly, I didn't do much as far as clips and stuff, so I'm probably gonna try to quickly edit this and put it out. You kinda wanna just give an update of what's happening in my world, where I am, what's going on, all of those things. Um, I'm officially awakened to my new place. Right now I feel pretty content and it's very interesting. This week has been a really big emotional roller coaster. Sometimes when you're like, why did I make this decision? Why did I make this decision? And then all of a sudden something shows you and you're like, that's why I made this decision. And even though you're sad, and even though life was comfortable with the person that you were very much in love with, you have to realize that you have to want better for yourself. You have to get out of that comfort zone. And what really sucks about my ex and I is that I believe, and I think he believes that we truly, truly loved each other. And when you love each other, there's a level of work and compromise that has to be done and it can't be on one end we need to both be working together towards a common goal and it's just something that we weren't doing the communication sucked um there was no i didn't feel fully comforted when i am an emotional wreck and um as you guys can see i can sometimes be an emotional wreck and maybe that's not the job of the person that I'm with. Maybe it's the job of me to find out on my own. But, you know, hopefully my my goal, my hope, my prayer is that if I'm with somebody, I can be imperfect and we can work together and, and grow together. And that just didn't seem to happen. There was a lot of, it just became very stagnant. So I'm excited to see what this growth on my own will look like. Fun fact about me, I am a serial monogamous. So <laughs> I do a lot of relationship jumping and um, they're usually not short-term relationships, they're long-term relationships. We've been together for two and a half years. And honestly, I, I thought we were going to get married and um, we're not. So It's really it, it's really funny how like you can miss somebody and then you try to have a conversation with them that's lovely and you're like that's why you get on my fucking nerves. Like there it is. Ah, I found the ick. Uh I found the ick. Please don't talk to me again. So now it's just a bunch of cutting ties and I think there's a lot of drama in our relationship that is very, you know, quiet as it's kept because images and things like that. And you don't want to be on the internet and I don't want people to know. And you know what? I really don't care. I really don't care if y'all are like, oh, Mara is a hot mess today. I really don't care if like the internet is being like, oh, Mara is crashing out. I'm not a huge crash out. Like I'm not like a Krishan Rock crash out, but I'm my own version of crashing the heck out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm interested in what this new journey is going to be like for me. I'm interested to see the, the growth that is going to happen now that I'm really, truly by myself and we're really putting a pin in this. Am I sad? Yes. Do I think about this person all the time? Absolutely. But the person, the most important person is me. And I haven't been taking care of me. And that other person hasn't been taking care of me. So nobody has been taking care of Mara except for Mara. And I'm used to taking care of myself by myself, but I don't want to feel like that when I'm in a relationship. I'd rather like actually know what my wants and needs are versus knowing somebody else's wants and needs. <sighs> versus knowing somebody else's wants and needs and no one really caring about mine. So. Now I'm actually a single girl living in the city. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I definitely have like new inspiration. I feel like it, I feel like it's going to help with my consistency on here because I'm not going to be in an argument and feel horrible every five seconds 
or I need to cater to you even though you're not catering to me and I need to make sure that you're taken care of and not make sure that I'm taken care of and now I haven't done any content so maybe that'll grow and I'm super excited um I've been thinking about creating a twitch and maybe like streaming um I don't know black folks watch streaming other than gamers so I'm confused but I heard streaming is a thing so I've started putting the closet together I need new hangers because I am running out <laughs> and so now I am officially sleeping on the bed with a lot of my clothes which is fine because I'm sleeping alone and <laughs> um, I had to order well, actually and I have to go to Walmart and get a whole bunch of hangers but things are put up um, if anybody wants to know the things that I need for my apartment if anybody just cares and wants to get more things for her apartment I need a microwave <laughs> I need a microwave I need a I want a record player a good record player and I need knives those are the things that I need I mean like if you're willing if not you know I'll just wait for my check and go to Ross like but those are the things that I um I'm really looking forward to having in the place. It's starting to come together. I've been on like, I was on a deep dive of Pinterest yesterday to see how I can DIY my place to make it cute for cheap. So I'm excited to show you guys how I will be decorating the palace. Um, so this, I, I call the place the palace. My ring camera, my front ring camera, that's Rex scratching. My front ring camera is uh, called the front gates. And then my floodlight ring camera is called the moat. So you can do either or, and we will be <laughs> keeping security. Um, but yeah, I have one more trip to my exes. I've unpacked some bags. So now I'm going over there to basically do my last haul of my crap which i am actually very excited about let's let's just get all my stuff out of there and figure out where it belongs in its new home and um yeah things are things are things might actually look up you know you can want somebody so much but if they're not trying with you and you're the only person putting an effort into the relationship, what are you doing? You know, what are you really doing? You need somebody that loves you the way that you want to be loved, the way that you need to be loved, not the way that they say that you deserve to be loved. And I was putting, I was, I was, I was not receiving the love that I wanted. And I was like, okay, well, maybe you don't see me and I need to prove that you need to see me this way so that you can love me this way. And it's like, no, they love you the way that they feel like they need to love you. And you either gonna take that stuff or you not. And I was just at the point where I couldn't take it anymore. I felt like I wasn't being seen. I felt like I wasn't being loved on. I felt like I wasn't being respected. And, and in a lot of ways he felt that as well. So I feel great. I'm feeling very optimistic. I hope I feel fine after I uh, go get the last like haul of my crap. But my apartment is starting to really come together, guys. So I cannot wait to continue to show you guys how everything looks.